Welcome back to the cafe. We'll head along to the Mastercraft kitchen very soon to check in with Mark's and meatballs. But first, in home design, Hamish is here to show us some great ways to revamp your decks, your paths, and even driveways with just a little bit of paint, which we love. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Okay, so we're talking a whole lot of decks and pavers. We are. We're going to talk about decks, pavers, driveways, recreational areas. Now, as it happens, I was in seeing my good friends at Resine because I was having to get more stain for my house. Right. <laughs> no, note to everyone, if you need to get stain for your house and you're using a cool colour stain, they need a week to bring it in unless you go to a specific store. Not good when your paint starts Monday. Good to know. Nonetheless, moving on, we're <laughs> going to start with walk-on. Okay, so what is walk-on? What do you mean walk-on? Okay, walk-on. Uh, people who have older timber houses, villas particularly, have the uh, timber deck out the front. Yep. Okay, walk-on is the product to paint your lovely dove grey deck. Okay, it comes in about 40 different colours, so one doesn't need to have grey. There we go, there's the picture. You understand how they work? And yeah, no, okay, so that's exactly like the deck around my house, although Correct. <laughs> my house isn't that big. And if you don't use a product like walk-on, that's where it'll start flaking and wearing off as you go to the front door. Common problem, okay? Right. You can also use this product on concrete pavers. So you know the hideous concrete paver that one may have had? Perhaps terracotta. Yes. <laughs> it'll, it'll cycle back, but just not for now. You can paint it with this, but it's a solid colour, okay? Right. Nice, I think okay. Oh, that look, see, I see that picture there. That yeah. looks incredible, what they've it does done. Look incredible. It's amazing what a lick of paint can do, isn't it's, it? It's sensational. Mm, I have nice. to ask, though, I've yes. got a particular area in my house where I have, on a couple of occasions, nearly come a gutsa, as my grandparents would have once said. Is there anything in terms of stopping slips? Allow me to fix this for you, Braden. Oh, look oh. at that. <laughs> non skid, deck and path. Oh. There you go. <laughs> for, the, for the slightly older gentleman, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> no, it is good. You obviously need it. Back paths can get slippery. And uh, I mean, you know, if you've got a high foot traffic area, say you've got a Pilates studio at home, who knows? <laughs> I don't. Maybe, maybe a lot of people coming uh, and it gets damp. This is the kind of thing. It's got a grit in it, so it's going to stop sure. you from slipping and sliding. OK, let's go to driveways now. What have you got for well, us? Well, here we go. This is where we get some fun. Resin concrete stain. Yes, they make mm. resin concrete stain. Now, wow. people may say, what is the difference here between paint and stain? Same as a fence. You paint a fence, it's a solid colour, right? You can't see through it. You stain a fence, you can still see the grain of the timber coming through. Same with the concrete stain, funnily enough. You stain the concrete, what you can get to see is the pattern coming. So if you've got honed or ground concrete, you can still see the texture coming through. Okay, Same so, with the pavers. So you're looking at that picture there and you can see that they've painted that little bit in the middle black. They've, they, they have their painted it. some of it black and they've stained the rest. So you can still kind of see through that, that you black can, paint. You nice. can. Okay, good. What else have we got? Well, because I'll be coming around at some point uh, for a barbecue. <laughs> I, know, nice. I think I know what you're going to say because I was going to ask about outdoor furniture. Yeah, we're going outdoor furniture. Yes, please, please fix it for me. I, I prefer it to look nice and clean and tidy. So what you want to use is a sort of a, a timber prep, wash first, Get all the algae off your furniture, clean it down nicely, don't water blast it heavily because it damages the timber. A nice scrub is good, Mike. You know? Okay, yeah. nice. <laughs> right. the water blast right. Right. It does ruin it. Breaks then it. you can give it a coat over the top, okay? Make it fresh, make it lovely. He's got very high standards. I, I have very it. high standards. <laughs> no, but I love it because it's really easy by the looks of it. Well, it is. This is all stuff you yep. can do yourself. You're right. And you just Brilliant. go to Razine, get the look, razine.co.nz. So and away you go. It is so much. a very cheap and easy way to take care of that. I think even I can do it. And as Mike <laughs> said, razine.co.nz.